All right, guys, this is a Grand Teton, the medium size one. Has a 40 pound hopper. I've been using this for quite some time. To unlock it, you have to go up to the top right, hit it. It says lock on, but it really is unlocked. Then you adjust your power settings. Power one is the highest setting. Two, three, you know, two, three, four. It goes, four is the lowest setting. I have 215 hours on it. We haven't had any problems. It throws out an error nine code if the pellets are low, and then it will throw out an error one code. So in order to start it, you go to home, your temperature will be 10 degrees. It's on eco one. So 10, I have the set point at 75 degrees. So when that hits, the indoor temperature hits 65, it will kick on. So we'll turn it up. And now it'll kick on and it will run until it hits 78 degrees. Then it will shut off because it's eco one. That's in settings. I cleaned it out today, vacuumed it, cleaned the glass. Don't use, don't clean it while it's hot. You can use Windex on it. That's what I did. It's firing up, it's getting ready to fire up, but I'll show you. Put a handful of pellets in. And you gotta start after you've cleaned it. Make sure the door is closed. ghetto here because we're not sure where we're, where we're gonna put it for its final resting place so we just went through the window for now blurry the two by two pavers it says preheating right now See Orga kicking on, dropping pellets in. We're using this unit to do our whole house. Our house is about 1,500 square foot, two floors. We keep the, we put it here right now because the center of the house so it gets our front room or dining room our kitchen and then our, gets in there nice the bathroom and that goes up to the three bedrooms in the bathroom upstairs so it's kind of nice but down here is 80 degrees upstairs hallway will be about 76 to 77 and our bedroom which is right above us gets to about 74 we haven't ran our boiler for since we first got this thing probably about this thursday would be three weeks and we're in new york on long island it's a pretty good stove Pretty happy with it. This is our first one. Takes a little bit to fire up. Our pellets last us about a 40 pound bag lasts us about one day. Uh, when the outside temperature is probably 30 to 36 degrees, we go through one bag of pellets in 24 hours on the high setting. Our house is older. Most of the walls are gonna be done, except for the front room. We get a lot of cold air from up there.
I try vacuuming it out once every three or four days. Something glow in there. There's a lot of settings on this. Uh, where is it? System. Wait, unlock it. System. I think it's one one. What is it? Oh wait. Oh, hey, hey. So you can change all the exhaust fan settings and I've messed with them a little bit, but uh, I'm not really 100% what to do. So I put them back to where they were for the most part. And here we go. I put a thermometer on it, a laser. I was getting up here, it was about 300 something degrees coming out. The sides get about 600 degrees. The top really doesn't get that hot. The center gets, uh, the center gets, stays cool. The sides get kind of hot, but not really. It's like 140 degrees it was, 130. It just makes a little bit of noise in the startup. After that, it's quiet. You can see the oil going and the pellets dropping. We leave it on all day, all night. I think we're ready to move off the grid. Looks like we need solar panels and battery banks, but. We'll get there. I guess the, the blower fan will kick on when it reaches a certain temperature, then it'll start blowing warm air or hot air. Pretty much it. Hope you liked the video.